in a way questionable coming to this game impunity but if impunity can keep can, sorry can keep their discipline and very very high gameplay this could be very very interesting this could be very very interesting for both teams all right we are in the game already it, it might be a carry mid for team idns do you think having a uh roger all right, you can now they are in the lane already. IDNS frame C. Carry having a pretty good free time. Got to deal with the Hayabusa. What do you think about this matchup in the middle lane? Um, it's sort of weird. Carry and Hayabusa. Hayabusa should be play should be playing in top instead because Carry is a ranged uh, hero while Hayabusa is a melee. Farming there is gonna be hard, and Carry can punish you for being too close. Carry, Carry has a lot of damage, and once the port hit hits to uh, from carry it's gonna deal a lot of damage it seems like he, impunity is coming in to do this game with a 2-1-2 strat you know the the advantage of the 2-1-2 strat is if you can survive from the tri lane you're gonna have more experience than the other team yeah and Hayabusha is gonna do the hacking tower tactic but this is actually a pretty interesting uh, lineup from Unity. they have the 2-1 to uh, combo, sorry, uh, laning matchup where you usually go three down bot and one on solo top, but this is all gonna happen for impunity, so this might be a very interesting, this is an interesting outlook coming into this game. Oh no, that is pretty dangerous position for Aurora if they're being bought oh in the version. And now they aim on Aurora first, but where is the hook? He missed the hook, so if he hits that one, it's gonna be the first blood for sure. Now, Aurora, so why? Yeah, but Aurora, as, as you were saying, gonna survive that. And again, this is a very, very unorthodox way of laning coming from immunity because it's gonna be 2-1-2. Two, two. Hayabusha is gonna solo mid instead, but look at that. Three they people all, coming down bottom. Yeah. It's gonna be five heroes of impunity at the bottom lane against like around two or three heroes of MC. It's camping not so far away from the lane inside the bush. And they're just gonna go for a turtle so early. Yeah. Leaving the lane for a turtle, is that worth it? It is actually very, very worth it if they can get it because with that bonus EX. Oh, wait a minute. The enemy has Never a mind, Hayabusha is gonna slay that turtle, but the war is gonna happen and Rogers with the first blood. Oh, oh no. my god, but Harley is gonna get the kill anyways, and look at that. Alice right down the middle. Harley is gonna go down. Hayabusha actually oh, getting that oh. kill, but with the move of Franco, Granwacha is gonna survive. Hayabusha is still right there, Granwacha getting the kill on Joe, and Franco is gonna go down. Down with four man trying to go after him with the alley stun. Oh no, what a perfect timing and perfect positioning. Also, making decision coming out from him impunity that they, they decided to dive right from the river and then just keep on going until the mid here won the turret. Now, here we go. The fight's not even over yet. The impunity is gonna jump away. A blink one to five. That is pretty weak, big win right from three minutes yeah and impunity now not only getting general getting the five kills straight off the bat has already made them have that kind of gold lead almost uh three thousand coming to two thousand and two hundred so impunity clearly has the upper hand while well, they were playing very very disciplined with a five man always moving together no one splitting up i do not see needs to do something about this man that that is such a big fall behind for team I do not see by the end. You know, they, they have to find something to come back. Maybe uh having gather up they, they might have to gang the hard carry of team impunity that is farming so free right now in the top lane Hayabusa of Team Impunity also farming in the N NC. They might have to put the pressure on it while frame C and Gazokasha is gonna push lane with Alice. There's two support lanes, but look at that Aurora is coming to help. There's Ailey and look at that Ton almost hitting one and Hayabusha actually getting the kill on Harley there. With the help without from Aurora and it's Ice Lock. Oh my you know, impunity appears so strong against one of the strongest team in the tournament IDNS. Four and a half minutes but it's still impunity game. Now they get up in the middle. They are up to still something. hasn't find the pull. Uh, hasn't find the right pull to do this. Now let's take a look on top first. Joe, is he gonna dive in? No. What? What? What are you saying? 
No, Franco still hasn't get the right pull yet. He did get Gato Kacha early on, but Gato Kacha didn't die. It wasn't enough for Gato Kacha to die right under the straight. Now, I do not sleep has to pay for this because Immunity now leveling up very, very fast while players from uh, I do not sleep is now getting left behind. Look at that. Oh, oh Franco nice looking to the tower. With the flicker and the ultimate, but Turret is not going to hit him and Rogers is able to escape with yeah. the dodge. I don't think that is enough damage, even though you are combined with your tower. Now, here we go. The Round two is coming out, uh, becoming three. We through now doing some dragon kicks uh, by that Joe. Now ID and SN scene, and now the support of TV penalty is right here, diving inside, uh, dropping quite low for the. Oh my goodness! And now Franco goes down. It's one for one trade, but it seems to be a very good fight for ID and S as they are far behind. Uh, having a trade like that, yeah, just, just gonna keep them. Uh, but look at that, at least stay behind the tower, diving in quite deep, trying to hit that Joe. Joe, oh my goodness! What a great dive. Yeah, that was a very good dive where they could actually bait it out. And now Gato Kacha along with Alex and Rogers. Now Aurora is going to do the drill. And this is going to be a massive boost for immunity on gold and EXP as well. The with the turret already going down. Trading that one turret with the top turret from Saber pushing all alone. I didn't see um, Harley in the fight yet, but I kind of surprised that he, he she already got like two kills and two days. Maybe well playing Harley. Uh, the key of playing Harley is you don't want to be noticed by your opponent when you're doing the poker trick. Yeah, the the poker uh, the the card books and also the ultimate as well. As as you can see here. Uh, Gatot Kacha also with Alice is now gonna go around and uh, we don't gonna see Saber actually solo pushing trying to get all the farms and the money as well but there is Franco trying to decide what they need to do here now well, here we go they just come out of the bush Franco as, as, as we talked earlier he needs to be the game maker right here but I, he doesn't have the effect with the game yet and I'll go into the bush and find someone around there now Joe Joe Force that Gato Kacha out of the bush. No. There, there was Hayabusha there, but they, he didn't want to risk it by going down and diving. Oh, that pull was a miss. They're playing very safe for Hayabusha. The ninjutsu. Now the game is going back to the farming mode. It's seven and a half minutes. It's still. Infinity game having around like 4k ahead in terms of gold earn. And look at that uh, Impunity now still trying to oh Franco almost getting the pull Hayabusha is right there and there is Cho as well But look at that Saber with the blades the whirling blades is yep. not gonna do anything at all Definitely gonna be the big team fight right there as both parties grouping up getting ready to go in I think Alice is a, bit, a little bit too in front. He might get raised by the Joe But he actually baited that Joe to come in. Joe come in with a stun, but he missed it Here we go. He might go in the bit away of the dragon now Oh no. The all retreat, but I'm pretty sure it will be a third round for this. Oh, Franco might get a nice pull right here and trying to get that one cheeky kill, but not yet. They're still playing pretty safe. Rogers is still actually at bot lane trying to figure out. He needs to do now either push or group up with the enemy or uh, group up with the team because there's going to be a huge fight coming soon anyways with Harley and Saber already moving, trying to go and push stop instead. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Two to eight, uh, almost ten minutes. Uh, I, uh, I noticed a uh, both team. Oh, nice hook in. Uh, now here we go, Joe going in for the support. Uh, they, we won't let Aurora playing so free. But Aurora, we're in the middle of his teammate. He's still looking pretty healthy. Another fight is right here, trying to aim for the hard carries of team IDNS. If they lost the damage, you look, IDNS is going to be in a big trouble. Joe's uh, 50 percent XP. So many skill has been spammed. Now two led off two heroes for team IDNS. This one. They can catch first, but it seems like it didn't. It, it is not a good head game, man. Then. And look at that player from Unity is now gonna try to get the Lord instead. And the early Lord here might actually uh, prove fruitful for the team. Oh my god, Gatotacha actually getting the taunt on Harley, but look at that, Carry getting the kill on Alice, uh, uh, Carry is still there, double kill for Gato Kacha, and Idina suddenly coming back into this game very, very well, yeah. Carry with a triple kill. Oh my goodness, what a ninja move by the Carry, and he just keep on going, nice using the deadly magic to slow him down, and it might be a 
make a kill for the carry. Coming back, but I do not sleep. They are not even done yet. The last one is going to be that clean. Clean. Keep on shooting, right clicking. Nope, I mean, tapping. <laughs> not a PC game here, actually. 10 minutes far, and that is a big comeback, do you think? Yeah, there was a massive comeback, but the Lord is already spawning down bottom lane. And of course, look at that. They're gonna get playing, gonna get ulted, gonna get ulted again. Double ulted, and with the ult coming from Haley, it's gonna go down. And of course, Cho getting a kill on Rogers. The carry, sorry, the marksman is already down, but Lord is now pushing alone with nobody trying to stop that. And they have to stop Lord. Oh, yes, 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 that Rocha. Oh, look at the bottom lane. It seems like they're just gonna push under the Lord. The only one who is uh, defending right now is Harley, trying to do some poker trick. He doesn't have his ultimate though, so he needs to be very, very careful about. That went to 10 games four. And now, uh, take a look at Impunity. They are grouping up. And if turret has destroyed, uh, Ajabusa, they're all camping inside. But the question is, how are they gonna how are they going to engage? Thank you, and still sort of waiting here, trying to find the right time. Alice might actually jump in, getting Franco out of nowhere, but there's already five players waiting behind him. But Alice could do the uh, area stun, the area lock. So this might be interesting with Hayabusa trying to bait them out as well. Uh, what I, I think what Impunity needs right now is the engager. It seems like they don't have any heroes that can open the fight, uh, something like a Joe that IDNS has. All they have to do is some uh, Impunity can only do some long range uh, disable spells to, to start the fight. Now look at that hook. IDNS got a double initiator in that team. Yeah, and look at that Gato Kacha. It's already down the brush trying to wait, but there's also Joe there with the two siege minions gonna get destroyed but the war is still not happening the turtle is gonna get contested here by IDNS and Franco is trying to get one missed the hook but the turtle is gonna go down anyways and the gold difference should uh, caught up pretty fast right now for IDNS because they are now catching up to the game so when you can gain score 12 minutes far we still don't know who's gonna come out this game alive as the goal turn is really really close to each other 29k and 31k it's all about the timing and the engaging. And I think the most important thing for Team I do not sleep. Oh, Franco, oh, Franco! That was, that was, that, that's pretty much like, hey man, how are you? How are you doing? What's good, man? What's yeah. good? He was like, oh, oh look boy, at that. that I am with the massive Bushar. damage. Gonna go back instead. But look at that lock from Alice. Alice gonna use the ult, but Gato Kacha is gonna miss that one inside. Luit. The taunt, but never mind, gonna go back. There was a very good initiation, but it didn't really follow up to a good kill coming from Impunity. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Well, 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 uh, if you just tune in, say hi to all the guys watching this game in YouTube and also in Vigo Live. We got a lot of viewers today, it seems. Uh, you got everything to, you wanna yeah. say hi to all our lovely viewers around here? Yeah, Thanks. again, look at that. Oh my god, Hayabusha actually tries to bail it out mid, but Hayabusha has to run away now. The high mobility hero right here is gonna get chased down. Oh, Franco is there. Now they're gonna go Franco away. needs to pull, but gonna miss again. Harley trying to actually make the pick, but Cho is right there. Hayabusha with the shadow slashes. Never mind, there's still Alice right there. Never not, not gonna get the lock, but Cho is gonna survive with the dash. That was a very, very good play from Cho. That is very good uh, individual skill from Cho players of Team ID and a uh, very high mobility hero. So now let's take a look at the uh, floor. They, uh, both parties is going to try to contrast that one. Cho is coming in again. A lot has been slain by Roger. Roger turns on his uh, um, docky form. He's just gonna go in. We're gonna do release. Uh, who lets the dock sound? No, he just turned back inside. Uh, in team side, uh, Alice diving a little bit too deep, but no problem. Kind of catch and. Aya Bruces dive in and get another kill. Roger turn on his dog trying to catch that Joe. Not this time, Joe. Oh, the Lord is now gonna get summoned right uh, on the bottom lane, but there's still Harley there trying to protect it. However, uh, Rogers with the massive damage is gonna push mid instead. Is there's only Franco trying to defend that and he can't defend it by Our all by himself because the turret is gonna go down anyways and Franco is turret. gonna go back not trying to overextend. There's one super minion right there. Yeah, a lot pushing oh, bottom and now this is not looking good for him. IDNS already. Mid lane turret has been destroyed. And yeah, not good. Man, 
the game momentum has changed in every single team fight. You yeah, think? every single team fight, Ayuna is getting the momentum, then suddenly Infinity getting it back again. But the Lord is gonna get destroyed now by Carrie. But look at that, the top lane is now gonna get destroyed from Impunity, and Impunity is still gonna keep pushing. They're gonna do the split pushes as well. Enemy Super Minion Dolby Lights. Well, um, to play a good, to play a good Franco, I I play a, uh, some uh, some of the Franco as well, and I feel like to land a good hook, you're gonna need a good phone. Yeah. And if, when turtle. you think about a good phone, I think Vivo uh, Excellent Plus is actually one of the good phones right here. Exactly, you know? I would play with Vivo oh, all the time. <laughs> a little bit uh, sell out right here. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would totally play with people all the time. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, you yeah, like yeah, to take yeah. selfies. Yeah, uh, good selfie, good, good phone, good hook. Exactly, good Man, hook. That, that's awesome. That's indeed. You know, nine to thirteen game score, like sixteen minutes in. And coming to the game right now, Franco now with the immortal already on his hand, on body. Do you least. think is this? The battle between two best teams in the tournament, can we say that? Yeah, we probably could say that if uh, seeing how I did not think Man Beauty was playing very, very well. Because we just saw a really good back-to-back -back game just punching each other out. They're just jabbing, they're just throwing punches from each other because the momentum has been changing way too much right now. Yeah, yeah. Man, and the um, network is not so far away from each other. Higher boots are gonna come out. Saying it uh, at the bottom lane fight is going to be the most important fight in this game because whoever wins this one can to win the game. Especially if you lose a fight very near to the uh, tier 3 oh, bottom Ayo, tower. Oh, trying to jump in right away but gonna dash back anyways and Franco is trying to guess where the players are actually hiding. But well, look at that, there's four players trying to bait out Hayabusha with the Immortal can actually survive at least one dead, one first down from Ayunas and nobody realizes that the players from uh, Impunity is gonna come from behind. Alice is gonna jump first, I think. Now going in for Joe. Joe going in first and stun for two. The bottom markers never afraid of anything. He always goes in first and dash himself out. No pain. No game. Nah, they're just gonna kill this small crab. Get some HP back, you see? Yeah, Gold Tippers is still now led by Impunity, but again, with no, this, no, with no. already 17 minutes, all of the players from Impunity and I don't know, see, already basically has the uh, final items building. They, they already have at least their final no, item at soon. least early on build. So it doesn't matter anymore. The gold difference doesn't matter. All they need now is a lord. Oh no, a team fight happening at very near to the butcher. Somebody get frozen by Aura. Joe, Joe going in for Aurora. Dropping quite low already. No help from the teammate for Aurora because everyone was squeezing to the lower. The hard Harry of Team IDNS was so low they have to retreat. Joe still chasing on Aurora since like yesterday and now he finally slain it. The Thai team finally take down one of the best supports in this game, Aurora. Now here you go, look at that one, uh, Rota keep on shooting. Broke his spike on uh, Joe, going in once again, AC playing so good. What a great play from the team captain right there. Yeah, I do not sleep, they're actually starting to uh, get that momentum back with Aurora actually dying first by Joe. And Aurora dying means you don't have that stun eye slot anymore, at least the huge area that Aurora can provide is not there anymore. Man, that 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 is very good focus because it seems like Team ID and they started to learn that if they want to win a team fight, they gotta get rid of that Aurora first. But it's not gonna be that easy. The, the only one who can go in and reach Aurora seems to be Joe. Uh, that means if you come in and if Aurora setting a trap, waiting for Joe with his teammate, it's gonna be like two v one situation and it's gonna be really hard for Joe to get away from that frosted fight. And look at Alice. Top lane already been destroyed, and the push is coming in from I do not sleep. Infinity has to defend from this with the Lord just pushing through the mid as well. 
and if with Franco pushing with them together, Franco can start picking one off. Never mind the miss. Rogers almost getting hooked by Franco. But look at that. The ultimate from Garapacha actually gets a knock up on a lot of people there. And oh my god, Harley and Saber did a really good combo right there. But Rogers is still alive and absorbed coming from Garapacha. Garapacha has to go down. Hayabusa will go down as well. Rogers still trying to fight this out. Still has the immortal on his body is now 2PG with Aurora still alive. 14 to 16, game 4, it seems like IB and Ed do what it takes, trying to end the game right here and 3, 4, uh, actually 3 heroes of Team Infinity died and they're going to wait around like that. Now they're going straight for the throne and the I do not 